Good morning, good morning, Kingdom. King, your priest, Peter Spencer, wisdom speak. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love you. I pray you'll continue to seek first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness. Today, I want to read to you Revelation chapter 17, starting at verse 1, and it reads this wise. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great horde that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And a woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having golden a golden cup in her hand full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. So my brothers and sisters, with that being said, let's go to the throne of grace. The preaching and teaching of lies is prevalent more now than ever, mighty and holy one. The preaching and teaching of lies, hypocrisy, confusion, role reversal, identity and support has us in a state of confusion that is building up like the Tower of Babel to a point that is like we are mystery Babylon with so much confusion that is like it is on one accord. Today, though, we, your people and those who will become your people come to repent unto you, holy and righteous God. For we don't want to follow after the ways of Mystery Babylon, but we want to follow your ways. So we come out of, from her now. We renounce the teaching of confusion, lawlessness, disrespect, murdering, slandering, selfishness, sorcery, witchcraft, and any practice that will hinder us from inheriting the kingdom of God. Lies after lies that we have lost the sight of the truth, that we believe the lie versus the truth. That Jesus the Christ, according to the gospel, which is the good news, that Jesus came to save and wash us clean to start to establish your kingdom here on earth. We don't want to continue to be out of your will. For the war has been coming for your manservant, and it is increasing to devalue us, that we will become not in your eyes. So we repent and turn back to you for kingdom healing. For we come to seek your kingdom first. And ask that you arrest, rule, and buy within us, that we don't sin against you and your word. Reestablish us, Holy One. Reestablish your kings with righteous healing. And cleanse us with the blood. And revive our spirit today, that we will walk in continued fellowship. Let us be the lover of you, mighty one of Israel. And help us to teach your kingdom come, your will be done. Help us to live your kingdom come, your will be done. So consecrate us, consecrate our land, consecrate our seed, and make it all holy for your purpose and plan. Blow on us one last time, Holy One, before the darkness come where no one can work. Refresh, refill, refuel, revive us with your Holy Spirit. We repent and want our zeal back, Mighty One of Israel, to be on righteous fire for you because you have not given us the spirit of fear but power, love, and a sound mind. We want the righteous mind. We want a righteous thought and we want a righteous heart to love you and our brothers as a saying. Help us, mighty one of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. This last time, clothe us with the clothes of righteousness and we come to dip our robes in the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus the Christ. We're ready for you, mighty one of Israel, to blow on us that we can press forward to the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. We ask these things for the kingdom men as we ought to, in Jesus Christ's name, we pray and ask, amen, amen, and amen. I love you, kingdom. You have an awesome and wonderful day.